We're going to Dysfunction Junction, where it may be rainy and painful. We gotta get there to grab the tools so we won't be loud and hateful. Got to learn to be thankful for every lesson learned. Because your healing and peace of mind has surely been well earned. Yeah. Hey, 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 and happy Sunday, y'all. Uh, Chris here with our seventh edition of Dysfunction Junction. Um, sorry, I missed y'all last Sunday, but, uh, um, I needed that break. I needed that break. Um, now I did do another video. I did a video Monday. Is it a real, is it a part of this function junction all the way? I don't know. It was completely random. You can go check it out when you want to. I was just kind of going through the motions and I just, I, I needed a moment to pause. So that's what I did. But, um, today we're back. And the topic of conversation is going to be childhood trauma and friendships. This is the last part of our childhood trauma. We're going to move on next week. Um, but I just don't think that people really think about how much of the old stuff affects their friendships as well. It's just like dating. Um, you know, you have a phase where it's like, oh, everything's great. Y'all getting to know one another. And then, you know, later on is when shit hit the fan. It happens. Um, so, yeah. Let's get into it. Now, y'all know uh, Dysfunction Junction is still a baby. Her is just an itty-bitty newborn. And I'm still working, you know, working some stuff out. Working the kinks out and everything like that. So, um, I need feedback, y'all. Let me know if what I'm doing is working, not working. Um, I want to make sure that what I'm relaying is being received. So DM me, message me. If uh, if you got my phone number, call me, text me, honey. Um, carry a pigeon, smoke a signal, something. I just need to know. So that way, whatever isn't working, I can scrap and come up with something different, okay? Um, today, I think I'm going to try something a little different, though. I'm going to start with the info first because I keep that thing on me. Yes, I do. All right. So let's get into it. Childhood trauma can have lifelong impacts on individuals' overall health and well-being. Multiple studies have proven that everything from childhood neglect to financial instability to domestic violence might even impact an adult's ability to live a long life. Those who have six or more adverse childhood experiences might have an average lifespan that is 20 years shorter than those who had a normal childhood. Childhood trauma not only affects mental health, but also the immune system. I mean, I didn't say it, they said it. So, I mean, it's real, whether, you know, you want to believe it or not. All right, but just because someone was dealt bad cards during their childhood does not mean they are doomed to a lifetime of misery. According to a new study published in Science Advances, building strong social relationships and having a high social status during adulthood can act as a buffer against the negative impacts of childhood trauma. Okay, so all is not lost, right? So in a in a press release, okay, so they did like this study with baboons, right? So the team of researchers analyzed data that was collected over a span of 36 years after studying 200 baboons in Southern Kenya. They observed that although childhood adversity can shave several years off the animal's lifespan, strong friendships can help baboons get back two years of their life expectancy. It says that social buffering has also been suggested as a mechanism to counteract the negative effects of early life adversity in other mammals and humans. Okay. And I'm just speaking from, you know, me, like what I've learned and just, over the years sometimes we want to hold on to those old high school friends sometimes we want to hold on to those old elementary school friends but what we have to understand is those friendships were made in a toxic environment right like if you were still holding on to a lot of the um adverse childhood things that you went through when you built this bond with this person that's the space you're in as you heal and get out of that space that friendship may suffer. It may not. I don't know. But for me, I know that I've lost friends um, during my healing stage. I don't know. You know, maybe they thought, oh, she don't call me. I'm not going to call her. It was like I was underwater trying to breathe. I'm fighting for my life. 
I ain't got time to be sitting here kicking in on the phone with you. I'm trying to live. <laughs> like, I'm trying. I'm suffering over here. I'm just trying to, like, live a good life. That's it, right? So, um, yeah, I've lost friendships, but I've also gained. I must say, the people that I've met on social media, I don't think I would be doing this today if it weren't for the encouragement of a lot of different people that I have never met in person. It's crazy. But, you know, sometimes it just is what it is, right? So, um, like I said, it's, it's just a lot like dating. And you, you don't, you don't stay with everybody you date, you know, and, and, and friendship breakups are just as hard, if not harder. Oh my God. So that was another thing, you know, but from what we've read, all is not lost. So even if you had a rough childhood, even if you have, um, a rough time trusting, that's me. Um, if you have a rough time even making friends, you know what I'm saying? Know that it can still happen. Know that you can still have valuable people in your life um, that value you and you value them and the respect is reciprocated and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Don't be holding on to nobody just because of seniority. Baby, this ain't a job. You a whole human being. You a whole person. You are not nobody's job. Don't be, oh, we've been friends for 30 years. But if that person is not good for you, they're not good for you. And if they are, then you hold on. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, just like yesterday, I met one of my Facebook friends. Uh, we've been friends for eight years. Had never laid eyes on her, had never met her, but we built a bond. I, mean, I don't think I would be doing this if it weren't for her inviting me to the Sacred Sister Circle at the beginning of last year. You know? So... Yeah, all is not lost. So I just want to encourage y'all. Like I said, this is the last part of the childhood saga. I don't know what to call it. Um, I hope it resonated with you. And if it did, uh, please share. Please tell people about this function junction. We just we all a mess, honey. We all a mess and we just get here. We come together every Sunday and try to figure it out together. I do not have all the answers. Um, I just like to read, research, and learn. And it's not a day goes by that I'm not trying to learn and grow from something. So all I'm doing is just sharing what I do on a normal basis. Anyway, um, if you are like me and you've gone through certain stuff, let me be the first to tell you, ain't nothing wrong with therapy. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with therapy. Baby, I done got on that, on that woman's couch, honey, and used all her Kleenex plenty of times. Don't you worry about it. Get what you need. Get what you need. Healing is rough. Yeah, you will lose, but you will also gain so much. Um, so I just encourage you, man. And I, I really do. Um, I really do thank you for being here. This is, um, I never thought I'd be doing nothing like this. So, all right. That's it for today. Um, I'll share the information at the end and I'll see y'all next Sunday. So. Have a good week.